San Antonio, from Spanish, Saint Anthony, officially the city of San Antonio, has more than 1.5 million residents. It is the seventh most populous city in the United States, and the second most populous city in both Texas and the southern United States. Founded as a Spanish mission and colonial outpost in 1718, the city became the first chartered civil settlement in present-day Texas in 1731. The area was still part of the Spanish Empire, and later of the Mexican Republic. Today it is the state's oldest municipality. The city's deep history is contrasted with its rapid recent growth during the past few decades. It was the fastest growing of the top ten largest cities in the United States from 2000 to 2010, and the second from 1990 to 2000. Straddling the regional divide between South and Central Texas, San Antonio anchors the southwestern corner of an urban megaregion colloquially known as the Texas Triangle. San Antonio serves as the seat of Barra County. Recent annexations have extended the city's boundaries into Medina County and, for a tiny area near the city of Garden Ridge, into Comal County. Since San Antonio was founded during the Spanish colonial era, it has a church San Fernando Cathedral in its center, on the main civic plaza in front, a characteristic of many Spanish-founded cities, towns, and villages in Spain and Latin America. As with many other urban centers in the southwestern United States, areas outside the city limits are sparsely populated. San Antonio is the center of the San Antonio New Braunfels Metropolitan Statistical Area. Commonly called Greater San Antonio, the metro area has a population of 2,473,974 based on the 2017 U.S. Census estimate, making it the 24th largest metropolitan area in the United States and third largest in Texas. Growth along the Interstate 35 and Interstate 10 corridors to the north, west and east make it likely that the metropolitan area will continue to expand. San Antonio was named by a 1691 Spanish expedition for Saint Anthony of Padua, whose feast day is June 13. The city contains five 18th-century Spanish frontier missions, including the Alamo and San Antonio Missions National Historical Park, which together were designated UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 2015. Other notable attractions include the River Walk, the Tower of the Americas, SeaWorld, the Alamo Bowl, and Marriage Island. Commercial entertainment includes Six Flags Fiesta Texas and Morgan's Wonderland amusement parks. According to the San Antonio Convention and Visitors Bureau, the city is visited by about 32 million tourists a year. It is home to the five-time NBA champion San Antonio Spurs, and hosts the annual San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, one of the largest such events in the U.S. The U.S. Armed Forces have numerous facilities in and around San Antonio. Fort Sam Houston is the only one within the city limits. Lackland Air Force Base, Randolph Air Force Base, Lackland AFB, Kelly Field Annex, Camp Bullies, and Camp Stanley are outside the city limits. Kelly Air Force Base operated out of San Antonio until 2001, when the airfield was transferred to Lackland AFB. The remaining parts of the base were developed as Port San Antonio, an industrial, business park and aerospace complex. San Antonio is home to six Fortune 500 companies and the South Texas Medical Center, the only medical research and care provider in the South Texas region. Topic: History. At the time of European encounter, Payaya Indians lived near the San Antonio River Valley in the San Pedro Springs area. They called the vicinity Yanaguana, meaning refreshing waters. In 1691, a group of Spanish Catholic explorers and missionaries came upon the river and Payaya settlement on June 13, the feast day of Saint Anthony of Padua. They named the place and river, San Antonio. In his honor, it was years before any Spanish settlement took place. 
Father Antonio de Olivares visited the site in 1709, and he was determined to found a mission and civilian settlement there. The Viceroy gave formal approval for a combined mission and presidio in late 1716, as he wanted to forestall any French expansion into the area from their colony of La Louisiane to the east, as well as prevent illegal trading with the Payaya. He directed Martin de Alicon, the governor of Coahuila y Tecas, to establish the mission complex. Differences between Alicon and Olivares resulted in delays, and construction did not start until 1718. Olivares built, with the help of the Payaya Indians, the Misión de San Antonio de Valero the Alamo, the Presidio San Antonio de Berra, the bridge that connected both, and the Asequi Madre de Valero. The families who clustered around the Presidio and Mission were the start of Villa de Bejar, destined to become the most important town in Spanish Texas. On May 1, the governor transferred ownership of the Mission San Antonio de Valero later famous as the Alamo to Fray Antonio de Olivares. On May 5, 1718 he commissioned the Presidio San Antonio de Berra Beja", in modern Spanish orthography on the west side of the San Antonio River, one fourth league from the mission. On February 14, 1719, the Marquis of San Miguel de Aguayo proposed to the King of Spain that 400 families be transported from the Canary Islands, Galicia, or Havana to populate the province of Texas. His plan was approved, and notice was given the Canary Islanders Islenos to furnish 200 families. The Council of the Indies suggested that 400 families should be sent from the Canaries to Texas by way of Havana and Veracruz. By June 1730, 25 families had reached Cuba, and 10 families had been sent to Veracruz before orders from Spain came to stop the resettlement. Under the leadership of Juan Leal Goraz, the group marched overland from Veracruz to the Presidio San Antonio de Berra, where they arrived on March 9, 1731. Due to marriages along the way, the party now included 15 families, a total of 56 persons. They joined the military community established in 1718. The immigrants formed the nucleus of the Villa of San Fernando de Berra, the first regularly organized civil government in Texas. Several older families of San Antonio trace their descent from the Canary Island colonists. Maria Rosa Padron was the first baby born of Canary Islander descent in San Antonio, during the Spanish-Mexican settlement of southwestern lands, which took place over the following century. Juan Leal Gores Jr. was a prominent figure. He claimed nearly 100,000 square miles acres as Spanish territory and held some control for nearly three decades. This area stretched across six present-day states. San Antonio was designated as Lil Goraz's capital. It represented Mexican expansion into the area. With his robust military forces, he led exploration and establishing Spanish colonial bases as far as San Francisco, California. Widespread bankruptcy forced Lil Goraz Jr.'s army back into the current boundaries of Mexico. They fell into internal conflict and turmoil with neighboring entities. San Antonio grew to become the largest Spanish settlement in Texas. It was designated as the capital of the Spanish, later Mexican, province of Texas. From San Antonio, the Camino Real, today Nacogdoches Road, was built to the small frontier town of Nacogdoches. Mexico allowed European American settlers from the United States into the territory. They mostly occupied land in the eastern part. When Antonio López de Santa Anna unilaterally abolished the Mexican Constitution of 1824, violence ensued in many states of Mexico. In a series of battles, the Texian army succeeded in forcing Mexican soldiers out of the settlement areas east of San Antonio, which were dominated by Americans, under the leadership of Ben Milam. In the Battle of Berra, December 1835, Texian forces captured San Antonio from forces commanded by General Martin. Perfecto de Coz, Santa Ana's brother-in-law. In the spring of 1836, Santa Ana marched on San Antonio. 
A volunteer force under the command of James C. Neal occupied and fortified the deserted mission. Upon his departure, the joint command of William Barrett Travis and James Bowie were left in charge of defending the old mission. The Battle of the Alamo took place from February 23 to March 6, 1836. The outnumbered Texian force was ultimately defeated, with all of the Alamo defenders killed. These men were seen as martyrs for the cause of Texas freedom and remember the Alamo became a rallying cry in the Texian army's eventual success at defeating Santa Ana's army, Juan Seguin, who organized the company of Tejano Patriots, who fought for Texas independence, fought at the Battle of Concepcion, the Siege of Berra, and the Battle of San Jacinto, and served as mayor of San Antonio. He was forced out of office due to threats on his life by sectarian newcomers and political opponents in 1842, becoming the last Tejano mayor for nearly 150 years. In 1845, the United States finally decided to annex Texas and include it as a state in the Union. This led to the Mexican American War. Though the U.S. ultimately won, the war was devastating to San Antonio. By its end, the population of the city had been reduced by almost two-thirds, to 800 inhabitants. Bolstered by migrants and immigrants, by 1860 at the start of the Civil War, San Antonio had grown to a city of 15,000 people. Following the Civil War, San Antonio prospered as a center of the cattle industry. During this period, it remained a frontier city, with a mixture of cultures that was different from other U.S. cities. In the 1850s Frederick Law Olmsted, the landscape architect who designed Central Park in New York City, traveled throughout the South and Southwest, and published accounts of his observations. In his 1859 book about Texas, Olmsted described San Antonio as having a "...jumble of races, costumes, languages, and buildings," which gave it a quality that only New Orleans could rival in what he described as odd and antiquated foreigners." In 1877, following the Reconstruction era, developers constructed the first railroad to San Antonio, connecting it to major markets and port cities. Texas was the first state to have major cities developed by railroads rather than waterways. In Texas, the railroads supported a markedly different pattern of development of major interior cities, such as San Antonio, Dallas and Fort Worth, compared to the historical development of coastal port cities in the established eastern states. At the beginning of the 20th century, the streets of the city's downtown were widened to accommodate street cars and modern traffic. At that time, many of the older historic buildings were demolished in the process of this modernization. Since the late 20th century, San Antonio has had steady population growth. The city's population has nearly doubled in 35 years, from just over 650,000 in the 1970 census to an estimated 1.2 million in 2005. Through both population growth and land annexation, the latter has considerably enlarged the physical area of the city. In 1990, the United States Census Bureau reported San Antonio's population as 55.6% Hispanic, 7.0% Black, and 36.2% non-Hispanic White. The San Antonio Missions National Historical Park and the Alamo became UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2015, and the city was designated a UNESCO City of Creativity for Gastronomy. In 2017, one of only 26 gastronomy creative cities in the world. Topic: <inaudible> Geography. San Antonio is approximately 75 miles (121 kilometers) to the southwest of its neighboring city, Austin, the state capital, about 190 miles (310 kilometers) west of Houston, and about 250 miles (400 kilometers) south of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The city has a total area of 465.4 square miles (1,205.4 square kilometers). 
460.93 square miles, 1,193.8 square kilometers, of which is land, and 4.5 square miles, 11.7 square kilometers, of water. The city's gently rolling terrain is dotted with oak trees, forested land, mesquite, and cacti, and it sits on the Balkana escarpment. Its altitude is 650 feet (198 meters) above sea level. The city's primary source of drinking water is the Edwards Aquifer. Impounded in 1962 and 1969, respectively, Victor Brownig Lake and Calaveras Lake were among the first reservoirs in the country built to use recycled treated wastewater for power plant cooling, reducing the amount of groundwater needed for electrical generation. Neighborhoods <laughs> <laughs> Downtown Downtown San Antonio, the city and metro area's urban core, encompasses many of the city's famous structures, attractions, and businesses. The central business district is generally understood to cover the northern half of the «downtown loop», the area bordered by César Chávez to the south. Due to the size of the city and its horizontal development, downtown accounts for less than one half of 1% of San Antonio's geographic area. <laughs> North Central North Central is home to several enclaves and upscale neighborhoods including Castle Hills, Hollywood Park, Elm Creek, Inwood, and Rogers Ranch. The area is also the location of upper middle class neighborhoods Deerfield, Churchill Estates, Hunters Creek, Oak Meadow, and Summerfield. <laughs> Northwest Side Northwest Side is the location of the main campus of the University of Texas at San Antonio, the University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio, and the Northwest Campus of the University of the Incarnate Word, which includes the Rosenberg School of Optometry. The Medical Center District is also located in Northwest Side. Companies with headquarters in the area include Valero and Nustar Energy. South Side The South Side area of San Antonio is characterized for its predominantly Latino and Hispanic neighborhoods, an average above 81%. Large growth came to South Side when Toyota constructed a manufacturing plant. Palo Alto College and the Texas A&M University San Antonio are located in the area. East Side East Side San Antonio is home to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, the AT&T Center, and the Freeman Coliseum. The area has the largest concentration of black residents. <laughs> West Side The West Side is predominantly Hispanic and working class, with pockets of wealth in the Northwest and Far West. It includes the diverse neighborhoods of Avenida Guadalupe, Collins Garden, Las Palmas, Prospect Hill, San Juan Gardens, Loma Park, Loma Vista, Memorial Heights, and Westwood. It is also home to the historic Our Lady of the Lake University and St. Mary's University. Topic. Vegetation Natural vegetation in the San Antonio area where undisturbed by development includes oak cedar woodland, oak grassland savanna, chaparral brush and riparian stream woodland. San Antonio is at the westernmost limit for both cabbage palmetto, sable palmetto and Spanish moss. Topic. Climate San Antonio has a transitional humid subtropical climate CFA, featuring very hot, long, and humid summers and mild to cool winters. 
The area is subject to descending northern cold fronts in the winter with cool to cold nights, and is warm and rainy in the spring and fall. San Antonio receives about a dozen subfreezing nights each year, typically seeing snow, sleet, or freezing rain about once every two or three winters, but accumulation and snow itself are very rare. Winters may pass without any frozen precipitation at all, and up to a decade has passed between snowfalls. According to the National Weather Service, there have been 32 instances of snowfall a trace or more in the city in the past 122 years, about once every four years. Snow was most recently seen on December 7, 2017, when 1 1.9 inches 5 centimeters of snow coated the city. On January 13, 1985, San Antonio received a record snowfall of 16 inches, 41 centimeters. San Antonio and New Braunfels, 40 miles, 64 kilometers to the northeast, are some of the most flood-prone regions in North America. The October 1998 Central Texas floods were among the costliest floods in United States history, resulting in $750 million in damage and 32 deaths. In 2002, from June 30 to July 7, 35 in 890 mm of rain fell in the San Antonio area, resulting in widespread flooding and 12 fatalities. Tornadoes within the city limits have been reported as recently as February 2017, although they seldom occur. An F2 tornado lands within 50 miles (80 kilometers) of the city on average once every five years. San Antonio has experienced two F4 tornadoes, one in 1953 and another in 1973. The 1953 tornado resulted in two deaths and 15 injuries. In San Antonio, July and August tie for the average warmest months, with an average high of 95 degrees Fahrenheit (35 degrees Celsius). The highest temperature ever recorded was 111 degrees Fahrenheit (44 degrees Celsius) on September 5, 2000. The average coolest month is January. The lowest recorded temperature ever was 0 degrees Fahrenheit (-18 degrees Celsius) on January 31, 1949. May, June, and October have quite a bit of precipitation. Since recording began in 1871, the average annual precipitation has been 29.03 inches millimeters, with a maximum of 52.28 inches millimeters, and a minimum of 10.11 inches millimeters in one year. Demographics. According to the 2010 U.S. Census, 1,327,407 people resided in San Antonio City proper, an increase of 16.0% since 2000. The racial composition of the city based on the 2010 U.S. Census is as follows, 72.6% white non-Hispanic whites, 26.6%, 6.9% black or African American, 0.9% Native American, 2.4% Asian, 0.1% Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, 3.4% two or more races, and 13.7% other races. In addition, 63.2% of the city's population was of Hispanic or Latino origin, of any race. According to the 2000 U.S. Census, the city proper had a population of 1,144,646, ranking at the ninth most populated city in the country. Due to San Antonio's low density rate and lack of significant metropolitan population outside the city limits, the metropolitan area ranked just 30th in the U.S. with a population of 1,592,383. San Antonio has a large Hispanic population with a significant African American population. Subsequent population counts indicate continued rapid growth in the area. 
As stated above, the 2010 U.S. Census showed the city's population at 1,327,407, making it the second most populous city in Texas after Houston, as well as the seventh most populous city in the United States. The 2011 U.S. Census estimate for the eight-county San Antonio-New Braunfels metropolitan area placed its population at 2,194,927, making it the third most populous metro area in Texas after the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and Houston metropolitan area and the 24th most populous metro area in the U.S. The metropolitan area is bordered to the northeast by Austin Round Rock San Marcos, and the two metropolitan areas together combine to form a region of over 4.7 million people known as the Austin San Antonio Corridor. About 405,474 households, and 280,993 families reside in San Antonio. The population density is 2,808.5 people per square mile. There are 433,122 housing units at an average density of 1,062.7 per square mile. The age of the city's population distributed as 28.5% under the age of 18, 10.8% from 18 to 24, 30.8% from 25 to 44, 19.4% from 45 to 64, and 10.4% who are 65 years of age or older. The median age is 32 years. In San Antonio, 48% of the population are males, and 52% of the population are females. For every 100 females, there are 93.5 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there are 89.7 males. The median income for a household in the city is $36,214, and the median income for a family is $53,100. Males have a median income of $30,061 versus $24,444 for females. The per capita income for the city is $17,487. About 17.3% of the population and 14.0% of families are below the poverty line. Of the total population, 24.3% of those under the age of 18 and 13.5% of those 65 and older are living below the poverty line. Religion According to a study by Sperling's Best Places, Christianity is the most prevalently practiced religion in San Antonio. The largest Christian denomination in the city is the Catholic Church San Antonio's Catholic community is served by the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of San Antonio. The second largest Christian branch in the city are Baptists the largest Baptist body in San Antonio is the Southern Baptist Convention. Other denominations or branches with a large presence in San Antonio include Methodists 2.8%, Lutherans 1.7%, Pentecostals 1.5%, Latter-day Saints 1.5%, Presbyterians 0.8%, and Episcopalians 0.7%. Christians including the Eastern Orthodox, Oriental Orthodox, and others make up 8.1% of the city's other Christian population. Islam is the second largest religion in San Antonio, 1.2%. Sunni Islam is the dominant branch of the religion practiced. Eastern religions such as Buddhism, Sikhism, and Hinduism have a significant presence in San Antonio. Judaism is also present in San Antonio, 0.3%. Topic: Economy. San Antonio has a diversified economy with a gross domestic product (GDP) of approximately 96.8 billion dollars. 
This ranks the city fourth in Texas and 38th in the United States. San Antonio's economy focuses primarily on military, health care, government civil service, financial services, oil and gas, and tourism. Within the past 20 years, the city has become a significant location for American-based call centers and has added a sizable manufacturing sector centered around automobiles. Located about 10 miles northwest of downtown is South Texas Medical Center, a conglomerate of various hospitals, clinics, and research see Southwest Research Institute and Texas Biomedical Research Institute and higher educational institutions. Over 20 million tourists visit the city and its attractions every year, contributing substantially to its economy, primarily due to the Alamo and the River Walk. The Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center alone hosts over 300 events annually with more than 750,000 convention delegates from around the world. Tourism provided over 130,000 jobs, and it had an economic impact of $13.6 billion in the local economy. The city of San Antonio received $195 million in the same year from the hospitality industry, with revenues from hotel occupancy tax, sales taxes and others. San Antonio is the headquarters of six Fortune 500 companies, Valero Energy, Andeva formerly Tesoro Corp., USAA, eHeartMedia, Nustar Energy, and CST Brands, Inc., HEB. The 13th largest private company in the U.S. is also based in San Antonio. Other companies headquartered in the city include Bill Miller BBQ Enterprises, Carinay Healthcare Services, Security Service Federal Credit Union, VisionWorks of America, Frost Bank, Hart Hanks, Kinetic Concepts, SWBC, Newtech, Rackspace, Taco Cabana, Broadway Bank, Zachary Holdings, Zachary Construction Company, Randolph Brooks Federal Credit Union, Shash, and Whataburger. The North American Development Bank, a development institution jointly held by the governments of the U.S. and Mexico, is headquartered in San Antonio as well. Other notable companies that maintain sizable presence in the city include Hulu, OCI, Keiko New Energy, Silver Spring Networks, Toyota, Argo Group, EOG Resources, Microsoft, Cogeco Pier 1, and Boeing. In 2015, San Antonio was ranked at No. 50 by Forbes magazine on their list of the best places for business and careers, while being listed as the 15th best market for job growth. <laughs> <laughs> Military installations The city is home to one of the largest concentrations of military bases in the U.S., and has been nicknamed Military City, USA. The city is home to several active military installations, Lackland Air Force Base, Brook Army Medical Center, Randolph Air Force Base, and Fort Sam Houston. The defense industry in San Antonio employs over 89,000 and provides a $5.25 billion impact to the city's economy. Topic relocation losses San Antonio has lost several major company headquarters, the largest being the 2008 move of AT&T Inc. to Dallas to better serve customers and expand business in the future. In 1997, Titan Holdings and USLD Communications had sold their operations to larger companies. After a Los Angeles buyout specialist purchased Builders Square, the company's operations were moved out of San Antonio. Culture Attractions San Antonio is a popular tourist destination. The Alamo Mission in San Antonio the Alamo, located in downtown, is Texas' top tourist attraction. Because of the mission, San Antonio is often called Alamo City. The River Walk, which meanders through the downtown area, is the city's second most visited attraction, giving it the additional nickname of River City. 
extended an additional 13 miles between 2009 to 2013. The landscaped walking and bike path lined the San Antonio River from the Museum Reach, beginning in Brackenridge Park through downtown, downtown Reach, past the Blue Stars Eagleland to the Mission Reach, ending near Loop 410 south past Mission Esparta. Lined with numerous shops, bars, and restaurants, as well as the Arneson River Theater, this attraction is transformed into an impressive festival of lights during the Christmas and New Year holiday period except for the Mission Reach, and is suffused with the local sounds of folklorico and flamenco music during the summer, particularly during celebrations such as the Fiesta Noche del Rio. The downtown area also features San Fernando Cathedral, the Majestic Theater, Hemisphere home of the Tower of the Americas, and UTSA's Institute of Texan Cultures, La Vilita, Market Square, the Spanish Governor's Palace, and the historic Menja Hotel. The Fairmount Hotel, built in 1906 and San Antonio's second oldest hotel, is in the Guinness World Records as one of the heaviest buildings ever moved intact. It was placed in its new location, three blocks south of the Alamo, over four days in 1985, and cost $650,000 to move. The city is home to three animal attractions. SeaWorld, 16 miles 26 kilometers west of downtown in the city's Westover Hills district, is the number three attraction and one of the largest marine life parks in the world. The very popular and historic San Antonio Zoo is in the city's Brackenridge Park. A third animal attraction is in development by British company Merlin Entertainments to accompany SeaWorld as a second aquarium attraction and indoor counterpart. The new attraction will be inside the shops at Rivercenter in downtown San Antonio and will be one of Merlin's Sea Life Aquariums. It is expected to open by summer 2018. The San Antonio Aquarium is the third and final attraction. San Antonio is also home to several commercial amusement parks, including Six Flags Fiesta Texas, Splashdown and Morgan's Wonderland, a theme park for children with special needs. Kitty Park, featuring old-fashioned amusement rides for children, was established in 1925, and is the oldest children's amusement park in the U.S. San Antonio is home to the first museum of modern art in Texas, the McNay Art Museum. Other art institutions and museums include ArtPace, Blue Star Contemporary Art Center, the Briscoe Western Art Museum, Buckhorn Saloon and Museum where visitors can experience something of cowboy culture year-round, San Antonio Museum of Art, formerly the Lone Star Brewery, SACC mentoring San Antonio artistic youth, the Southwest School of Art, Texas Rangers Museum, Texas Transportation Museum, the Witt Museum and the Doceum. An outdoor display at North Star Mall features 40-foot tall cowboy boots. The city's five missions, the four in the San Antonio Missions National Historical Park plus the Alamo, were named UNESCO World Heritage Sites on July 5, 2015. The San Antonio Missions became the 23rd U.S. site on the World Heritage List, which includes the Grand Canyon and the Statue of Liberty. It is the first site in Texas. The new mission reach of the River Walk was completed in 2013, and created over 15 miles of biking, hiking, and paddling trails that connect the missions to downtown and the Broadway Corridor. Other places of interest include the San Antonio Botanical Garden, Brackenridge Park, the Japanese Tea Gardens, the Sunken Garden Theater, the Woodlawn Theater, and the Magic Theater, a children's educational theater. In 2015 work was authorized to begin on the restoration of the former Hot Wells Hotel, Spa, and bathhouses on the San Antonio River on the city's south side. <laughs> Sports Topic professional sports The city's only top-level professional sports team, and consequently the team most San Antonians follow, is the San Antonio Spurs of the National Basketball Association. Previously, the Spurs played at the Alamodome which was speculatively built in an attempt to lure a professional football team to the region, and before that the Hemisphere Arena. 
They moved into the SBC Center in 2002 since renamed the AT&T Center, built with public funds. The AT&T Center is also home to the San Antonio Rampage of the American Hockey League, who are owned by the Spurs organization. San Antonio is home to the AAA San Antonio Missions who play at Nelson Wolf Stadium and are the minor league affiliate of the Milwaukee Brewers. San Antonio had a professional soccer franchise when the San Antonio Thunder played two seasons in the original NASL during the 1975–1976 seasons. Professional soccer returned with the birth of the San Antonio Scorpions of the modern NASL in 2012. The Scorpions won the 2014 Soccer Bowl, the first soccer championship in city history. On December 22, 2015, it was announced that Toyota Field and Star. Soccer Complex were sold to the city of San Antonio and Barra County, a deal which was accompanied by an agreement for Spurs Sports and Entertainment to operate the facilities and field a team that plays in the United Soccer League. San Antonio FC began play in the soccer-specific stadium, Toyota Field, in 2016. As a result, the San Antonio Scorpions franchise of the NASL was shut down. San Antonio has two rugby union teams, the Alamo City Rugby Football Club, and San Antonio Rugby Football Club. The San Antonio metropolitan area's smaller population has so far contributed to its lack of an NFL, MLB, NHL, or MLS team. City officials are said to be attempting to lure the National Football League permanently to San Antonio. Former NFL Commissioner Paul Taliabui stated San Antonio was successful in hosting the New Orleans Saints, and that the city would be on the short list for any future NFL expansions. The city has also hosted the Dallas Cowboys and Houston Oilers preseason camps in the past, and the Cowboys practiced in San Antonio through 2011. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones acknowledged his support for the city to become home to an NFL franchise. The Valero Texas Open is a professional golf tournament on the PGA Tour held at San Antonio since 1922. It has been played at TPC San Antonio since 2010. Previous venues include the Brackenridge Park Golf Course, La Cantera Golf Club and Pecan Valley Golf Club, the latter also hosted the 1968 PGA Championship. The Alamo Ladies Classic was an LPGA Tour event held from 1960 to 1973. The first Rising Phoenix World Championships was held at Grand Hyatt, San Antonio in 2015. In 2018, the Alliance of American Football announced that the San Antonio Commanders would play in the city beginning in 2019. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> College Sports. The University of Texas at San Antonio fields San Antonio's main NCAA Division I athletic teams, known as the UTSA Roadrunners. The teams play in Conference USA. The university added football in 2011, hiring former University of Miami coach Larry Coker as its initial head coach. Roadrunner football began play in 2011, with a record of 4–6. UTSA set attendance records for both highest attendance at an inaugural game 56,743 and highest average attendance for a first-year program 35,521. The Roadrunners moved to the Western Athletic Conference in 2012, and to Conference USA in 2013. University of the Incarnate Word also fields a full slate of NCAA Division I athletic teams, known as the Incarnate Word Cardinals, however, their football team competes in the Football Championship subdivision in the Southland Conference. San Antonio hosts the NCAA Football Alamo Bowl each December, played among the Big 12 and Pac-12 each December in the Alamodome. The city is also home of the U.S. Army All-American Bowl, played annually in the Alamodome and televised live on NBC. 
The Bowl is an East vs. West showdown featuring the nation's top 90 high school football senior players. The game has featured NFL stars Reggie Bush, Vince Young, Adrian Peterson, and many other college and NFL stars. The University of Texas at San Antonio fields the only collegiate men's rugby team in the city. UTSA competes in Division III Texas Rugby Union. Crime Crime in San Antonio began to rise in the early 1980s. In 1983 San Antonio had the tenth highest homicide rate in Texas with 18.5 homicides per 100,000 residents. The number of juveniles arrested in San Antonio for violent crimes tripled between 1987 and 1994, according to the Texas Law Enforcement Management and Administration Statistics Program. The number of youths arrested for unlawfully carrying firearms doubled over the same period. In 1993 San Antonio was nicknamed the «drive-by city» after San Antonio Police Department recorded over 1,200 drive-by shootings or nearly 3.5 per days. That figure dwarfed the number in other Texas cities, and it unofficially marked San Antonio as the state's drive-by capital. Although no part of the city was immune, the vast majority of the violence occurred on the east and west sides, particularly where poverty was prevalent. Gang members killed each other and innocent bystanders to protect their home turf and drug-selling interests. Housing projects such as Alazan Apache Courts, Cassiano Homes, East Terrace and Wheatley Courts served as hubs for different groups, sometimes housing multiple rival gangs. By the end of 1993 the city hit a peak in homicides with 230 killings, the highest since 1991 when 211 were killed. In 2016, the number of murders hit 151, the highest toll in 20 years. A majority of the San Antonio homicide victims were Hispanic and African American men between ages 18 and 29. 40% of the killings were either drug-related or domestic incidents. Government The city of San Antonio runs under the council manager system of government. The city is divided into ten council districts designed to be of equal population. Each district elects one person to the city council, with the mayor elected on a citywide basis. All members of the San Antonio City Council, including the mayor, are elected to two-year terms and are limited to four terms except for those who were in office in November 2008 and are limited to a total of two terms. Houston and Laredo have similar term limits to San Antonio. All positions are elected on nonpartisan ballots, as required by Texas law. Council members are paid $45,722 and the mayor earns $61,725 a year. The current mayor is Ron Nirenberg, who was elected in 2017 with 54.59% of the vote. The council hires a city manager to handle day to day operations. The council effectively functions as the city's legislative body with the city manager acting as its chief executive, responsible for the management of day-to-day -day operations and execution of council legislation. The current city manager is Cheryl Scully. The city operates its own electric and gas utility service, CPS Energy. The San Antonio Police Department is the city's municipal body of law enforcement. The San Antonio Fire Department SAFD provides the city with fire protection and EMS service. The city stretches into several national congressional districts and is represented in Congress by Senate Ted Cruz R. John Cornyn R. House of Representatives Texas District 20, Joaquin Castro D. Texas District 21, Lamar Smith R. Texas District 23, Will Hurd R. 
Texas District 28, Henry Cuellar, D. Texas District 35, Lloyd Doggett, D. State Governor Greg Abbott, R. Topic: Growth Policy. Unlike most large cities in the U.S., San Antonio is not completely surrounded by independent suburban cities, and under Texas state law it exercises extraterritorial jurisdiction over much of the surrounding unincorporated land, including planning major thoroughfares and enforcing rules for platting and subdivision. It pursues an aggressive annexation policy and opposes the creation of other municipalities within its ETJ. Nearly three fourths of its land area has been annexed since 1960. In the 2000s, the city annexed several long narrow corridors along major thoroughfares in outlying areas to facilitate eventual annexation of growth developing along the routes. The city planned to annex nearly 40 additional square miles by 2009. In May 2010, the city of San Antonio agreed to release thousands of acres of land in its extraterritorial jurisdiction along Interstate 10 to Schertz. The agreement releases a total of 3,486 acres 14 .11 square kilometers of San Antonio's ETJ lands north of I-10 to Schertz. The ETJ lands are in an area bordered by FM 1518 to the west, Lower Seguin Road to the north, Cibolo Creek to the east, and I 10 to the south. Involuntary annexation is a controversial issue in those parts of unincorporated Bearer County affected by it. Residents attracted to the outlying areas by lower taxes and affordable real estate values often see annexation as a mechanism to increase property tax rates which are primarily driven by school district taxes, not city taxes without a corresponding improvement in services such as police and fire protection, while the city regards its annexation policy as essential to its overall prosperity. Since the city has annexed a large amount of land over time, San Antonio surrounds several independent enclave cities, including Alamo Heights, Terrell Hills, Olmos Park, Hollywood Park, Hill Country Village, Castle Hills, Windcrest, Kirby, Balconer Heights, and Shavano Park. These are not districts of the city of San Antonio like Lincoln Heights and Brackenridge Park but independent cities in the San Antonio region completely surrounded, but not directly controlled, by the city of San Antonio. Topic. State and federal representation The Texas Department of Criminal Justice TDCJ operates the Parole Division Region 4 headquarters in the San Antonio Metro Parole Complex. San Antonio District Parole Officers I and III are in the Parole Complex, while Office II is in another location. The Texas Department of Transportation operates the San Antonio District Office in San Antonio. The United States Postal Service operates San Antonio's main post office. Other post offices are located throughout San Antonio. Topic education San Antonio hosts over 100,000 students in its 31 higher education institutions. Publicly supported schools include UT Health San Antonio, the University of Texas at San Antonio UTSA, Texas A&M University San Antonio, and the Alamo Community College District. UTSA is San Antonio's largest university. Private universities include Trinity University, St. Mary's University, Our Lady of the Lake University, University of the Incarnate Word, Webster University, Baptist University of the Americas, Hallmark University, Oblate School of Theology, and the Southwest School of Art, which enrolled its first BFA class in 2014. The San Antonio Public Library serves all of these institutions along with the 19 independent school districts within the Barra County, San Antonio metropolitan area. The city is home to more than 30 private schools and charter schools. These schools include 
Keystone School, St. Gerard Catholic High School, Central Catholic Marianist High School, Incarnate Word High School, St. Mary's Hall, The Atonement Academy, Antonian College Preparatory High School, San Antonio Academy, Holy Cross High School, Providence High School, The Carver Academy, Keystone School, TMI, The Episcopal School of Texas, St. Anthony Catholic High School, Lutheran High School of San Antonio, and Harmony Science Academy. San Antonio is home to U.S. Air Force Basic Military Training The Air Force only has one location for enlisted basic training, the 737th Training Group, at Lackland Air Force Base. All new Air Force recruits go through the same basic training at Lackland. Each year, over 35,000 new recruits go through AFBMT. In addition, METC, the military education and training campus, which provides the medical training for the US military at Fort Sam Houston, hosts 30 programs and over 24,000 annual graduates. It is the largest medical education center in the world. San Antonio is also home to a campus of the Culinary Institute of America. Topic Media and entertainment Topic <inaudible> Print San Antonio has one major newspaper, the San Antonio Express News, which has served the area since 1865. The Express News circulates as the largest newspaper service in South Texas. The Hearst Corporation, which owned a second newspaper, the San Antonio Light, purchased the Express News from News Corp. in 1992 and shut down the light after failing to find a buyer. Hearst, using the Express News brand, also produces Connection, a weekly magazine written by an entirely Hispanic staff with a Hispanic spin on weekly events. The San Antonio Current is the free, alternative paper published weekly with local political issues, art and music news, restaurant listings and reviews, and listings of events and nightlife around town. The San Antonio Business Journal covers general business news. La Prensa, a bilingual publication, also has a long history in San Antonio. They closed their doors in June 2018. Edible San Antonio, San Antonio's bi-monthly food magazine, is published every eight weeks. The 64-page full-color magazine, distributed free across the city, is printed in soy ink on recycled paper and covers the city's food scene with an emphasis on local food and sustainability. The San Antonio River Walk Current covers general San Antonio news. The San Antonio Observer is the only African-American newspaper in San Antonio since 1995 and the largest in all of South Texas. Radio About 50 radio stations can be heard in the San Antonio area—30 of them are in the city proper. San Antonio is home to eHeartMedia, the largest operator of radio stations in the U.S. Its flagship, WOAIAM 1200, is known for its local news operation, considered among the best in the country. It is a 50,000-watt clear channel station that reaches most of North America at night. The first radio station to broadcast in South Texas was KTSAAM 550 in 1922. The region's national public radio member is Texas Public Radio, a group of three stations, KSTX 89.1 FM is NPR News, Talk, KPAC 88.3 is a 24-hour classical music station, and KTXI 90.1 is a mix of NPR News, Talk and classical music broadcast for the West Central Texas Hill Country. KSTX also broadcasts, Riverwalk Jazz. Featuring Jim Cullum Jazz Band at the Landing, a fixture on the River Walk since 1963. KRTU 91.7 is a non-commercial radio station based at Trinity University. 
Unlike most other college radio stations in the U.S., the station plays jazz 17 hours a day and college rock, indie rock at night. College alternative station KSYM, 90.1 FM, is owned by the Alamo Community College District and operated by San Antonio College students. Like KRTU, it plays the Third Coast Music Network during the day and alternative music at night. Most Latin stations in the area play regional Mexican, Tejano or contemporary pop. On January 12, 2006, Univision-owned KCOR-FM, La Cali 95.1, changed its format from Hispanic rhythmic contemporary hits to Spanish oldies, then named, Recuerdo 95.1. On November 10, 2006, Univision flipped KLTO Tejano 97, 7's format to reggaeton in an attempt to reintroduce the format to San Antonio. Then 97.7 was flipped again to feature a rock format. The station no longer broadcasts anything in English. While still owned by Univision, it broadcast music by artists such as Linkin Park, before being sold to the Educational Media Foundation and flipping once again to Air One. 95.1 was then flipped back to the La Cali format again after being flipped to feature a 95X format. KLTO was acquired and is operated as a simulcast of KXTN FM Tejano 107.5. San Antonio Radio is diversified, due to an influx of non Tejano Latinos, mostly from the East Coast, who serve in the city's various military bases, as well as immigrants from Mexico. Therefore, just like in the rest of the country, radio station conglomerates have been changing formats in San Antonio to reflect shifting demographics. Television <inaudible> 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 Despite the relatively large size of both the city proper and the metropolitan area, San Antonio has always been a medium-sized market. It presently ranks 33rd in the United States, according to marketing research firm Acknilson. By comparison, the other two Texas cities with populations of over a million people, Houston and Dallas, are among the ten largest markets. This is mainly because the nearby suburban and rural areas are not much larger than the city itself. Additionally, the close proximity of Austin truncates the potential market area. San Antonio-based TV stations are WOAI Channel 4 NBC, KSAT Channel 12 ABC, Ken's Channel 5 CBS, KABB Channel 29 Fox Broadcasting Company, KCWX Channel 2 My Network TV, KMYS Channel 35 The CW and KLRN Channel 9 PBS. The market is also home to six Spanish-language stations, three religious stations, three independent stations and one Internet-based station 210 TV. As of 2010, the San Antonio market has 65% cable TV penetration. <laughs> <laughs> Annual events Yearly events, such as Fiesta San Antonio the city's signature event and Fiesta Noche del Rio, add a variety of entertainment options to the area, as well as strengthening the economy. Fiesta San Antonio alone carries an annual economic impact of $340 million. The city also plays host to SAFILM San Antonio Film Festival every summer in August. About to celebrate 24 years, the Film Fest is the largest in South Texas. Transportation Air The San Antonio International Airport SAT is located in uptown San Antonio, about 8 miles north of downtown. San Antonio International Airport is the sixth busiest airport based on passenger boardings in Texas and 44th in the United States. 
It has two terminals and is served by 11 airlines serving 42 destinations. In May 2017 Air Canada opened its reach to Texas creating a non-stop flight between San Antonio and Toronto. Stinson Municipal Airport is a reliever airport located 6 miles 10 kilometers south of downtown San Antonio. The airport has three runways and is also home to the Texas Air Museum. <laughs> Mass transit A bus and rubber tired streetcar bus system is provided by the city's Metropolitan Transit Authority, via Metropolitan Transit. VIA's full fare monthly unlimited big pass is $38 per month. VIA began operating a bus rapid transit line known as VIA Primo in December 2012, which connects downtown San Antonio to the South Texas Medical Center, the main campus of the University of Texas at San Antonio, and the independent enclave city of Leon Valley. In August 2010, VIA Metropolitan Transit unveiled buses that are powered by diesel-electric hybrid technology. The 30 hybrid buses were put into service on VIA's express routes to serve daily commuters across the city. This set of buses follows the introduction of new vehicles powered by compressed natural gas, which were unveiled in May 2010. In the fall of 2010, VIA took delivery of three new buses that are powered by electricity from onboard batteries. These buses serve the downtown core area, and are the first revenue vehicles VIA operates which have zero emissions. VIA offers 89 regular bus routes and two downtown streetcar routes. This includes express service from downtown to park and ride locations in the south, west, northwest, north central, and northeast sides of the city, with service to major locations such as UTSA, Six Flags Fiesta Texas, and SeaWorld. VIA also offers a special service to city events including Spurs games and city parades from its park and ride locations. VIA has, among its many routes, one of the longest local transit routes in America. Routes 550 clockwise and 551 counterclockwise travel 48 miles 77 kilometers one way as they loop around the city. Topic Rail San Antonio is served by two Amtrak routes, the daily Chicago to San Antonio Texas Eagle and the thrice weekly New Orleans to Los Angeles Sunset Limited. On the days that the Sunset Limited operates, a section of the Texas Eagle continues west with it, offering Chicago to Los Angeles through service. The old Sunset Station is now an entertainment venue owned by VIA and neighbored by the current station and the Alamodome. Freight service from San Antonio to Corpus Christi is provided by the Union Pacific Railroad. The predecessor route, including passenger service, from 1913 to 1956 was provided by the San Antonio, Uvalde and Gulf Railroad, or the Sausage, as it was commonly termed. The SAUNG was merged into the Missouri Pacific Railroad in 1956 and subsequently subsumed by the Union Pacific. San Antonio became the largest American city without an intra city rail system when Phoenix, the former largest city without such a system, procured one in 2008. A proposed passenger rail line, LSTAR, would link San Antonio to Austin. Topic. Road San Antonio is served by these major freeways Interstate 10, McDermott Freeway Northwest runs west toward El Paso, Phoenix and Los Angeles. Jose Lopez Freeway east runs east toward Seguin, Houston, New Orleans and Jacksonville. Interstate 35, Panam Expressway Northeast, Southwest runs south toward Laredo and runs north toward Austin, Dallas-Fort Worth, Oklahoma City Kansas City, Des Moines, and Minneapolis St. Paul Interstate 37, Lucien Adams Freeway southeast 
runs from San Antonio through its junction with U.S. Highway 281 South Edinburgh and McAllen near Three Rivers and into Corpus Christi through its junction with Interstate 69 East, U.S. Highway 77 South Kingsville, Harlingen and Brownsville, to its southern terminus at Corpus Christi Bay. Interstate 410, Connolly Loop Simply called Loop 410, 410 by locals is a 53-mile inner beltway around the city. US 90, Clito Rodriguez Freeway west through Uvalde and Del Rio to its western terminus at I-10 in Van Horn. Prior to I-10 East and US-90 West Expressway being built US-90 traveled through the west side via West Commerce Street westbound and Buena Vista Street eastbound and Enrique M. Barrera Parkway. On the east side it traveled along East Commerce Street to its current alignment which runs concurrent with I-10 East to Seguin. US-281, McAllister Freeway north to Johnson City and Wichita Falls. Southbound, it runs concurrent with I-37, then I-410 for 4 miles 6 km, then heads south to Pleasanton. Prior to I-37 and McAllister Freeway, being built US-281 traveled through the north side via San Pedro Avenue and the south side via Roosevelt Avenue. State Highway 151, Stotzer Freeway runs from U.S. Highway 90 west through Westover Hills which includes SeaWorld to its western terminus at State Loop 1604. State Loop 1604, Charles W. Anderson Loop. Simply called 1604, 1604 by locals is a 96-mile outer beltway around San Antonio. Other highways include US 87, southbound to Victoria along Roland Avenue then Rigsby Avenue. It runs concurrent with I-10 for 52 miles 84 km, where it goes to San Angelo northbound. US 181, starts 0.5 miles 0 .8 km south of I-410, I-37, US 281 interchange and heads toward Corpus Christi via Beeville. Prior to I-37 being built, US-181 traveled along Pracer Street from downtown to its current alignment. State Highway 16, from Freer, it runs concurrent with I-410 for 17 miles 27 km along southwest San Antonio, over to Bandera Road to Bandera. State Highway 130, starting at its southern terminus at I-35 South, it travels along East S Loop 410 until I-10, US 90, where it runs concurrently with the interstate until outside of Seguin, turning into a state toll road. State Highway Spur 421, also known more commonly as Culebra Road and Bandera Road, inside Loop 410. State Highway Spur 422, known as the Potique Jordanton Freeway. It was originally planned to have a high speed direct connection to I 35. State Loop 345, Fredericksburg Road by locals, is the business loop for I 10 West, US 87 North. State Loop 368, Broadway and Austin Highway by locals, is the business loop for I 35 North. State PA 1502 Wurzbach Parkway, limited access, high-speed road parallel to North IH 410. It has connections to I-35 via O'Connor Road and I-10 via Wurzbach Road across the north side of town. State Loop 353, Nogalito Street and New Laredo Highway is the business loop for I-35 South. State Loop 13, is the city's inner loop on the south side serving Lackland AFB, Port San Antonio, South Park Mall and Brooks City Base traveling along Military Drive on the south side and W. W. White Road on the east side to its junction with I-35, I-410. The northern arc of the loop is now I-410. Along with FM 471, FM 1957, and State Highway 211, also, the city has multiple streets with the same or similar names. As examples, Military Drive, 
Military Highway and Military Dr. West. Military Drive loops around the western and southern parts of the city. Military Highway, also called Northwest Military Drive by the locals, serves the northwestern part of the city. Military Drive West serves the far western portion of the city. None intersect each other. Wurzbach Road, Wurzbach Parkway, and Harry Wurzbach Road. Wurzbach Road serves the northwestern part of the city. Wurzbach Parkway, an expressway, is a east-west road serving the northwestern and northeastern parts of the city and can be considered an extension of Wurzbach Road. Harry Wurzbach Road runs past Fort Sam Houston and Terrell Hills on the city's northeast side, and it does not intersect Wurzbach Road or Wurzbach Parkway. Houseman Road and S. Houseman Road are two roads serving Hellotes and the far northwest side of the city. Houseman is a major road, and a route used by locals of Hellotes and NW San Antonio as an alternative to Loop 1604 connecting to I-10. S. Houseman is a suburban road that does not connect with Houseman despite its name, of the five largest cities in Texas, San Antonio is the only one without toll roads. Houston, Dallas, Austin, and Fort Worth have toll roads. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Bicycle paths. San Antonio has about 136 miles (219 kilometers) of bike lanes, routes, or off-road paths. Off-road trails travel along the San Antonio River, linear greenways, or city parks. Although largely disconnected, the progress to create a bicycle-friendly environment was recognized when San Antonio was designated a bronze-level, bicycle-friendly community, by the League of American Bicyclists. Bicycle <inaudible> sharing. <inaudible> <inaudible> A bike sharing service was approved by the City Council on June 17, 2010. The initial program consisted of 140 bikes at 14 locations supported by a central hub. It is expected to serve both residents and visitors. San Antonio Bike Share, a non profit, was formed to oversee the operation, locally operated and maintained by Bike World. B Cycle, the same system used in Denver, supplies the bike share system. It began operation in March 2011. Topic: <laughs> Walkability. A 2011 study by WalkScore ranked San Antonio the 40th most walkable of the 50 largest cities in the United States. With an average walk score of 33, San Antonio is one of the most car-dependent major cities in America. In popular culture Movies filmed in San Antonio include Wings 1927, I Wanted Wings 1941, Viva Max 1969, Sugarland Express 1974, Piranha 1978, Cloak and Dagger 1984 and Pee Wee's Big Adventure 1985. The 2014-2017 NBC television series The Night Shift took place in San Antonio, with its themes focusing on the city's medical and military presence. <laughs> <laughs> International relations <laughs> Sister cities San Antonio is twinned with Monterrey, Nuevo León, Mexico, 1953; Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, 1974; Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Canary Islands, Spain, 1975; Gwangju, South Korea, 1981; Kosiing, Taiwan, 1981. 
Santa Cruz de Tenerife, Canary Islands, Spain, 1983. Kumamoto, Japan, 1987. Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India, 2008. Wuxi, Jiangsu, People's Republic of China, 2012. Vindhoek, Namibia, 2016. Darmstadt, Hesse, Germany, 2017. Topic: Friendship cities. Suzhou, Jiangsu, People's Republic of China, 2010 Friendship City. Tel Aviv, Yafo, Israel, 2011 Friendship City. Topic: See also. List of people from San Antonio. National Register of Historic Places listings in Barra County, Texas San Antonio Area Foundation <laughs> Notes <laughs>